two, three with a strip. One, two, three. Here with an end. Part of the saloon goes like this. The wheel set. The trolley base for the trolley pole. The clerestory roof. All the glass has been now put in to the clerestory roof. Can you see it shining? Like that. The thin strip goes fits on here. But it's got that raised roof. Clerestory roof. So there's that. Raised glass. Now can you, can you catch it there? And here. Main body section. Raised as well. See? Now those special doors get added on to the body there. The end portion here. That's the end of it there. And that's the other end over here. They take the coffin through the main doors here. I think that's why they did this, to get space to load the coffin, which you couldn't do otherwise. And that's going to be there, the door through there. And that's going to be in the center, the partition in the center. The wheel set underneath. That's the, the saloon now. And the one, this side of the, com this side of the center compartment is the seats. Seats will be there and the mourners. And this side over here, of the other side of that center partition would be the, the coffin. The piece is the there, in between like that. And then. But now partition section, which I actually did, I mean, it's it's all got to be worked out still, this part. This is the extra addition that they put on with these doors and a, and a partition section between there and the driver. You see? But of course, you know, they could all be put in properly. This partition goes, yeah, you see? Like that. And on those markers in the middle there. Don't you think? West Street on the way to Ambila. It went past the West Street Cemetery as well, so maybe it was used to take uh, mourners there as well. And um, it was the only, funnily enough, it's, it's the only one, yeah, I think, in the world. Only, Durban was the only place in the world that had this funeral tram, electric tram service. 